If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. What are you feeling, Mikey? Station, Mel Metal Lucario now, or ADP Station with nine deals? Um, I say ADP Station with nine deals. All right, sounds good. So I'm gonna go get some water. If you're watching on YouTube, don't don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. If you're live with me on Twitch, I will be right back in just a second. Um, if you want to go ahead and do the deck profile, Mikey, go ahead. Yeah, gonna go get some water really quickly. Okay, Be right back. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't played this deck, but I have played against it a couple times in the last couple days. Um, it seems kind of cool. The Alone the Nine Tails is able to search out the gust effects and your plus damage effects exactly when you need them, um, which is pretty convenient. Uh, specifically, the custom catchers. Obviously, uh, Vitality Band's also a nice target. Um, I don't know exactly where Pablo pulled this list from. Some things that I don't love just looking at it initially is the Fairy Mimikyu. I don't feel like that's that strong, even in the mirror match. But I guess there's some synergy by Fairy Energy with Alone the Ninetales already. Um, I also think Marnie is pretty bad in general. I'd rather just play like reset stamp another reset stamp and maybe like two Cynthia's even I don't know though um, but yeah this deck is kind of like just a regular Zacian ADP deck but you have the Alone Nine Tails as some added consistency hence the Cherish Balls to help search them out yeah I'm back <laughs> Yeah, so I was just saying, uh, where did you pull this from exactly? Ah, okay, so this this deck just got top 8 in the in the regional that Henry won, you yeah. okay. know, uh, in Australia. And the number one ranked player in championship points from last season in Japan played this deck, or similar, um, like this concept rather, <coughs> at Oceana. He did make big 2. I did see his post on, on Twitter about it. I didn't pay too much attention because... He didn't, um, he didn't make day two, um, but I did have it in the back of my mind, and then I saw it got to paid, so I figured, okay, it's definitely a good time to to showcase it and find out if it's it's good. I think the biggest advantage for me of the Nine Tails, because it leads an extra thing to set up, right? But the biggest thing, I think, for me is the, the energy switch. Having access to energy switch means Ooh. you could turn one ADP with the right combination of cards, right? You could, um, if you wave an energy on turn one, you could uh, turn one ADP steal going like because if you in the mirror, if you go second, you're at that disadvantage, right, of the energy drop. But with the right combination of things, you could go second and still get the GX attack off before them. And um, oh wait, never mind because well, you have the energy switches, also you can use nine tails on turn one because you need to evolve. Um, but I don't know, like the energy axis. Access to guaranteed energy switch or guaranteed double customs. I think that to me is very, very valuable. Yeah, I didn't even notice the energy switches. That makes a lot of sense. It's actually something when I was playing regular ADP Zacian this weekend, I was kind of wondering why the deck didn't run energy switch. Like there's so many times where you miss the energy attachment, turn one on the ADP, but you get one on a Zacian or you have to quick ball for Zacian on turn one because you need the extra draw. Um, and so the energy switches make a lot of sense to me. I'm curious why we have rainbow energy in the deck then. Like, I might just want to play like an extra spinner and some more basic energies. 
but uh, we can see how it goes. That that's kind of one of my initial thoughts. Though. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like having two fairies, two waters, and the spinner, um, yeah. and an extra spinner instead of the three rainbows. I think that uh, definitely makes sense. Yeah. yeah, let's. This got to paid, so let's let's jump in and play with it as is. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll what see. are your thoughts, Pablo? What are your thoughts on Marnie in general as a card? Um, okay, so <clears throat> I think it's good. It's not. It's nothing outstanding. Like <clears throat> I do. I do like how it's. It's a little bit balanced in the sense that it helps you find your resources whilst also keeping your your opponent um, honest. You know, like if they're if they're not sailing properly, if they're not um, getting rid of what they don't need, if they're not, I don't know. I I do like it over Cynthia because it's one less card, right, of Cynthia. But you do get to attack your opponent's hand, and I feel like overall that that has a lot of value. And the fact that when you when you play Cynthia, you're like the cards you're putting back into the deck are cards that you weren't able to use right there. Right, so then a lot of the times you wouldn't be able to use them even if you redraw them. And with Marnie, you're guaranteed not to redraw them. You're guaranteed to draw new cards, new right? Cards. And combining yeah. with the Ranguru and the possibility of putting back custom catchers at the top, um, I don't know. I, I feel like I think it's definitely the second best supporter. Like it's behind research, um, and Cynthia is very close, but I I would rank research Marnie and then Cynthia in my opinion. How about you? Okay, uh, I just haven't played with it enough. It just and so I don't really have a strong opinion. So I was kind of just curious yeah. on yours. Well, this hand <laughs> leaves a lot to be desired. I think it's just attach bench, maybe switch to not get to not lose our station. I think he needs a lot, right? What does he need? He needs three. I mean, welder and six three energy. fires, six energies total, which one fire flint gets all four. Yeah, I guess we switch. Yeah, <laughs> just in case. And we got a, a, a turn one, two cards played, well played. <laughs> so our opponent very confident, apparently. And look, the energy switch. Now we have the ADP on turn two, despite not even having an ADP on turn one. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Spinner for the water, as long as the water is not priced, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, this is the other thing with only playing there. Like, if it is priced. <laughs> mm -hmm. but... Looks like you probably would have had it. Yeah. Yeah, like he's he's almost there. Gotta play safe, Nike. Gotta play around the worst case scenario. <laughs> this Mimikyu doesn't seem very good to me in general. Like right now it's fine obviously, but like it's not even that good in the mirror, is it? Beast Rigger, oh boy. Wait, why isn't good in the mirror? The Mimikyu isn't really that good in the mirror, right? I would expect it to be so, no. So okay. like, what are we playing it for? Are we just playing it because we play fairy energy? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> why not, right? Sure. I mean, it does give you a... I guess if, like, if you're going second and they go um, ultimate ray into your ADP after UGX, then, um, with energy switch off of the nine tails, you could return right. KO and still power up. Yeah, so, <clears throat> okay, so we're definitely going for ADP, right? And it's really good that he already. Well, I guess the price doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so first let's check for the water energy. Okay, it's in there. Right, we're good. Yeah. So then, quick I guess. Quick ball metal. Quick ball metal. Yeah. And then we're gonna Marnie this turn. So energy switch, touch, switch, and Marty to conserve the thing. 
Okay, now we hope we don't get KO'd. <laughs> I mean, hmm. we could so hot. great catcher, make it even more complicated. I think that's worth uh, it. How much retreat does Oracoria have? Just one? Just one. But it's an extra yeah. energy, right? It's seven over six. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. We're just going to research next turn anyway. Yeah. Well, maybe I should have discarded Metal Saucer and something else instead of the two energies, just to have guaranteed attachments, but hopefully we're not punished for that. <coughs> factory. The extra prize from the Oracorio is probably not going to do anything for us, but if he does leave it active. But he, just kill it. Oh, okay. But even killing Oracorio would have been pretty nice, I think. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, killing our recorder would have been very nice for sure. We can still do it later. He switched? Yeah, yeah he switched. I mean, if he gets his KO, I'm pretty sure it's game over no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> so we had to complicate it as much as possible. Does this, this didn't play any, uh, wait, do you play any tools in this deck? In this deck? I... Yeah. I don't think we do, no. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up the list. What was the guy's name, do you know? Uh, uh, no, I forgot. There's only eight players though, so it's... It, it was like 50, yeah. he got top eight, so 50 or eight. Six of them were ADP. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna go see this one, there's no point. Oh, he killed it. My one energy station will not be able to take six prizes. Oh, we play a Vitality Band and an Air Balloon, but no, um, not a, the, not the, the, what's it called? Metal Pan, Metal Frying Pan. Metal Frying Pan, yeah. Okay, we're up against Potato Zang. Potato Zang. Potato Zang. Okay. Oof, Deli changing away this hand is gonna be brutal if we don't tap the energy. <laughs> Alright, thank oh, you so nice. much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Potato. Thank you for the extra card. <laughs> yeah, I will I will never understand. Like I have five random cards. Why play the recent stamp and now give me six random cards? But hey, I'm not gonna complain. I don't even know if we research next turn. If water and if water's in there, we might just not research. Yeah, probably not. We can just play it slow. Energy spinner for three and then go a touch a touch. Because yeah. he's not threatening to knock us out next turn, right? So it should be fine. And like that makes no sense either. Unless you play like three energy switches. Who do you even dance of the ancients to? <laughs> what the heck? Full value. I guess the tingly return could stop our altered creation. <laughs> Not anymore. Not anymore. I <laughs> uh, don't need the fairy now. <clears throat> Alright, so bench days. So I'm. Is this the fairy treat one? Yes, but we need a fairy book. So I'm wondering if it's better to just bench this one and avoid any paralysis shenanigans, like just GX with a fresh ADP next turn. Um, or is it not worth it because then we'd have two ADPs in play? That could be the six prizes. Yeah, I think it's more likely that we're just able to get a second switch if we get paralyzed next turn. Yeah. Or it's like it's likely enough. If he uses his GX attack on that, even if we don't get the switch, we're probably fine. Well, I'm also thinking, like, if this tanks a hit and then we GX with this one, like, this one is fresh, so it's more it's okay. more yeah, likely yeah. that we can ultimate raid with this one, right? Okay, sure. To yeah, establish yeah, sure. a stronger okay, board. That. Like, that's, that's yeah. my... Like, I wish I didn't have the ADP, so I didn't have to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so much easier, but I feel like this is... 
marginally, marginally better. Just because we already have the, the switch. We could just get resistant again, right? Or Marty, but... And then we whiff it and then I'm kicking myself. <coughs> He goes after Vulpix, that's fine. If she goes, sorry, after Vulpix. Custom catcher. Go, go. Yeah, that energy on Orangu is looking pretty, pretty wasted. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll give you the Demi, but definitely not Orangu. I wish I had nine pills because then we could ultimate Ray KO this and then we would basically win. Yeah. <coughs> I guess we can still do that. Yeah, I mean, we're probably killing the Dene and Coco for the win. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. For Absol? Sure. Yeah. Let's do that. Well, let's go ahead and. I definitely won't be needing this. Well, it's more likely I need that than this, than a second one. I feel. Yeah. Yeah, the game's gonna go up by quickly. Then we'll do this. We will do this. And then switch. And then we switch. Would you custom catcher for one there ever? Uh, no. You like, draw like a second custom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like custom catcher, draw one custom catcher. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> you're not looking for anything, right? So yeah, it's like just drawing an extra one. Like if you were looking for something specific, then I would. But yeah, of course. You know. I don't know what this guy is trying to do. What's his plan? <laughs> he doesn't have a plan. <laughs> the plan is to hit for 10. Okay, so... <laughs> We're not doing anything either, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we are taking two prices, right? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Green. Okay. There we go. There's our nine tails. There's our custom catcher piece. Not bad. Uh, the rainbow means we 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 let her only need two electro powers. Okay. In order to get us, but it's not the biggest of deals. Like, there's no way we we don't win this game. We will have two stations yeah. powered up. <laughs> we can kill this no problem. So two stations powered up that can kill anything in our opponent's bench. So we should be good. And access to nine deal through cost effects. Yeah. And. <laughs> We could just get reset stamp too. <coughs> yeah, we could just get reset stamp too. Oh. oh man, he doesn't even have the energy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, it's like she just completely whipped everything. Do we just win now with that top deck? Yeah, we KO this, right? Yeah. Let's do it with style. <laughs> Let's do it with style. Nine tails. Let's say we have this in here for a reason. Switch. Just in case I'm bad at maths. And there's a maths teacher right here. <laughs> I don't want to look bad in front of him. There we go. There we go. 
All right. So, I mean, two games only, that's not a big enough sample size, but so far Nine Tails isn't necessarily doing much, it's just the quality of opponents. We got <laughs> wrecked <laughs> and we couldn't do anything, and then this, our opponent just... It felt like she was playing all the basic Pokemon and all the cards she could just because she could, rather than having a purpose as to why. Yeah. She also wasn't drawing great, apparently. I'm curious how this is in the mirror. Like if it's any better in the mirror or not. Um I mean maybe because of the mimic you that helps. But it's not easy to grab the night tail pieces, right? Since you're not like still wishing into research, still wishing into quick bolts, it's not actually that easy. And this is way more prone to reset Samp and Marty late game too. Yeah. Without the Jirachi pivots. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Even back to back attacks with Seishin can be more difficult with this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. Without the pivot. Okay, another Picaron. Oh, nice hand. <laughs> um, Are we first or second? First. Our opponent let us go first. Oh, nice. Love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Please water not be prized. There we go. <laughs> I feel like we've said that so many times that we definitely need a second one. Agreed. <laughs> yeah. Completely agreed. Yeah, minus three rainbows plus even just the one fairy? Maybe we could, well, I don't know. Two fairy? How often are we actually going to attack with nine deals? Probably not often. Yeah, probably not often. Like it's, yeah, I can't even think of a time except maybe against the uh, uh, Blacephalon GX. Yeah, that's the only thing. Or uh, like maybe in a weird scenario where you you already GX with ADP you Ultimate Rage and then you power that up and then you use Nine Tails to KO Adrachi and set up thirty damage on something else yeah, for yeah. Station to finish off. That seems very fringe for sure, but not completely out of the question. Two E powers and two customs down. That's just beautiful to see. That's not good to see. <coughs> yep, he's going all in here. Only one energy in the discard ball. So he needs switch energy. Coco Prism to get an attack of and a third Electro Bar to get a KO. That would be brutal. That would be pretty brutal. Okay, that works. Okay. Is the rainbow damage relevant at all? 180? Yeah, let them let them full blitz with just one E power. For one E power, yeah. Do we research here? No, I don't think so. No. We're not carrying that peak room because of the big charm though. That could be a problem.
Yeah, this doesn't have any way to one shot. I peek around with the big charm, huh? No. Nope. No shrine. No shrine, no zigzagoon. No. The vi I mean, the vitality, that's 270 minus 20. Not enough. The resistance. So, yeah, that could be a problem. Could be a problem right here. Because we're definitely getting KO'd by the GX attack. Which I guess, if he GX attacks here, it's not likely we get a return. Well, a re no. A return KO is impossible. A return attack, maybe. Unlikely, but maybe. No, very unlikely. <laughs> okay. That's a waste of any power. He needs that those E powers for station. Okay. This is not looking good, Miguel. Because of that big turn. I hope he full blitzes. <laughs> I hope he full blitzes. I think that's our best bet. And that must be his decision. For Mr. Ichiban Sensei. <laughs> Big debate. I feel like, once again, like our opponent, Dede changed, he's played a lot of cards this turn, but a bit nonsensical, and there we go, there's a full blitz, 10 off, thanks to not attaching the rainbow. <laughs> thanks to not attaching the rainbow. Alright, so now we're happy. Now we are very happy. Do we research this hand? I, I kind of like the reset then. Yeah, like waiting, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we just hold it again. Yeah, kind of like holding on to our reset hand. I mean, based on our opponent's actions, he's gonna reset stamp us again. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. We've played one card. One card total. We're in a pretty good spot for playing only one card. Yeah, <laughs> can't complain. Yeah, because the, the attack bolt CX doesn't really do anything to us, right? It's like, sure, it damages this, but then he loses all the energy on this guy. And as long as we find an energy on the middle saucer next turn, we should be okay. And if he goes after station, that's also okay as well. Yep, that's what he's gonna do. Does he have his last electro power? Make a GX now, right? Oh, yeah, he's done. Oh, yeah, true. Well, he, he needs tax switch, though. He needs tax switch and electro power. There's one. There's the power. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, we're fine. Okay. <coughs> we are fine. Okay, now research, sure. Energy switches don't really matter. Mm -hmm. I'll cherish for the other ADP. And then just research. Okay, I like having this. I like having this. Okay. I like attaching. I like this. And I like that it changing. Do I bench? No, uh, benching station and that changing? I think we're Cause... definitely benching Zacian. Yeah. Oh, are we looking for anything in particular? <laughs> mm. I mean, Not really, right? double customs, I don't right? To... Access to night. Yeah, I guess. I don't want to draw the rest of our energy. <laughs> true, true, true. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. Yeah, that could have happened. Yeah. 
Um, very um, open. Yeah. Okay. Morning, morning. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we just need Cherish or Nine Bills for a great catch up to yeah. Shouldn't be hard. Don't care about the Absol. So, Resist that, right? Is the. Our demise, but we did like we unlocked four, three outs from our prizes. The yeah. quick ball, the Marnie, and the 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 Denny. So it's not bad. Okay. So do we Marnie here? Because we're getting five versus six, but we could Marnie and then Denny change for us if we did change everything here. Well, we could research, I guess. Yeah, and like all of. Those things go to the bottom, right? Yeah. We, just, we do have so three balls. Or... Yeah. Yeah, it's the day. Yeah. It's the day. Um, the energy doesn't matter. Right. And there we go. A great catch. Okay. Easy. If we whiffed there, like, we would have been in a lot of trouble. Well, he was down for customs. So he could have great captured, I guess, if that was still available. One second, Nine Tails not really coming into play. Have we played him once? Uh, last game, not this one, the one before, just for cool points. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just for cool. But that points. one didn't count. Yeah, yeah, that didn't count. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so no. Uh yes, we would like to go first, please. Okay. That is a start. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die. Hopefully we don't die, exactly. In the mirror match. Yeah, I guess, like, Nightdale's finding energy switches to... It's a little hopeful. I just used this, right? Oh, yeah. Saving the water feels more important. Okay. So now that's... So we, it's like we won second. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we went second. Maybe we'll attack with nine tails to kill that big clown later on. Maybe. Well, no, no. No, we wanna... no we're gonna no, GX. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, Mikey? Big <laughs> <laughs> Port and Lucky Egg. So maybe the game we lost with Baby Blount, maybe it was incorrect to switch out into the Mimikyu, because that gave him the prize, right? Right. Well, I guess he had the Beast Bringer anyways. Okay, so definitely gonna take this time to set up the Vulpix, right? Yep. Question is, I guess Marnie? Yeah, I think we're Marnie, unfortunately. We're Marnie, oh, or we're discarding Marnie. So yeah, like I think we are going to Marnie next turn, right? Yeah, so we're discarding Zacian. Yeah, Zacian, I guess that's better we, than research. We play four, right? Yeah, we play four. One is prized, we still have the other one. Yeah, that's fair. 
We're not gonna do it this turn though. The only card we know is a lucky egg. But other than that, like that's not impactful enough, I think, to Marty the hand away. And we already have the Night Tails. Night Tails gets us spinner plus switch for a guaranteed GX, so I think we just intrepid sword here. Did you agree with that? I think that's fine. <clears throat> Wait, is Spinner in the deck? Sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out next turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, if Spinner's in the deck, yes, agreed. Yeah. If it's not, then if it's I'm not, not I should have kept the, met the metal in hand, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna place a bet that's ninety percent likely to be correct that it is in the deck. Please, yes, never punished. <laughs> <laughs> balloon or switch? I actually like the balloon more. <clears throat> uh, switch. Yeah, it just gives us like an infinite pivot. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, our opponent literally didn't do anything though. <laughs> Do we do we not do we just not Marty? <clears throat> like if we get the initiative against him on this plus seven the next turn, that's huge. Yeah. That resets his guess... board. And we already have these two. Yeah, I mean if he didn't do anything, let's just Yeah. <clears throat> he only he only, he drew attached telewished and passed. And he's telewished for for a fire crystal, which isn't even good right now. Well, it's kind of good, but not fire flame good. There's a fire flint. <coughs> okay, so <laughs> ADP is going down. Quick ball. Okay, we know he has three energies in his hand. We just have the raw six. Lucky egg. That's good. So he definitely has five, he must have had the other one. Yeah. Okay, so do we try and KO the Jirachi now instead? Well, no, it's so easy for him to knock the Seishin out, never mind. Yeah, we have to kill the Blam. Yeah, we have to kill the Blam. That, uh, that Lucky Egg is pretty unfortunate, though. Yeah, and we can't really research everything, right? <laughs> that would be pretty, yeah. pretty brutal. I'm not happy about this, but I feel like it's correct. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's all or nothing. And I still don't fancy our chances. <laughs> <laughs> Because even the regular Plum GX could lose on three energy, then it wouldn't be a big loss. Yeah. We won't lose immediately, but still. And with this hand. Okay, Sentry. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Oof. More card access. Still a wish before. That's nice. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh no, he did use his factory before. I was like, wait, what? Okay. So Victini will do it too, yeah. Yeah. So we need a magical top deck here. Yeah, with metal frying pan. 
Oh no, because then he GXs with this guy and he wins. So we can't KO both. And either one we KO'd, if we KO'd, the other one just wins it for him. Right? Yeah. I mean, we could stamp, and maybe he doesn't draw energy, but that's... Well, but the thing is, he already has energy on the clown. Oh, so oh, GX. oh, yeah, he already has it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the uh, burst GX is what kills us here. Alright, I mean, Night Gales helped, but the game came down to <laughs> to our opponent's speed for, rather than our, yeah. our anything. Like, we had no control there. It was, does he have it? Great. Does he not? Well, that sucks. <laughs> I feel like that's how BB Glam is to a lot of decks in the format. It's like, it's going to win the games where it does its thing, it's going to lose the games it doesn't, and there's some games it just can't win just based on the matchup. Yeah. All right, get to go first. Hello. Okay, not a bad hand by any means. Yeah, that's good. And we get mulligans too. And Gramble. Ooh, so we might not want to switch out immediately into the Oh no, we can't because we're going first. Never mind. Okay. No worries. Can draw the Night Tales, I feel. Or the no, the Vital Demon. We're definitely not gonna need damage modifiers against our opponent. <laughs> and then let's do this. And then we just hold. Yeah. This deck doesn't play Marnie and stuff like that. Or shouldn't, I guess. <coughs> For the most part. Okay. Try not a big deal. How much damage does Grumble do? 160 or 130? 160, right? Yeah, 160. 160, yeah. Oh, and just a draw pass, okay. So we go for the water, which is never priced, obviously. Never priced. <laughs> never, ever, ever priced. It can't be priced. That's how the game works. We're not going to Marty our opponent. Yeah, this is going to be a quick one. Unless our opponent goes evolve, energy, switch, get down to zero, KO, ADP. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I feel like even then it wouldn't be horrible because he never won the kill station. Well, right. Well, he close. spoke too soon. <laughs> nah. No, no. Okay. I did not speak too soon. Yeah. No need to warn you. Just take the KO. Yeah, there's no way we lose now. Granville seems pretty bad. Yeah, Granville's pretty bad. It's like the newer angle definitely doesn't make it good. HPs are way too high right now. Yeah. You can't out trade a Giratina that keeps coming back over and over. Oh, Lily's full force. <laughs> Interesting. What is it? It's like at the end of the turn you have to discard to one? Not discard. Um, if you have three or more cards at the end of your turn, you shuffle cards from your hand oh, until shuffle. you have two cards. Okay. That'd be cool if it was if you have zero cards, drop to it was like if it was drop to two or draw or put back until two. Oh, lucky! It's pretty, pretty clever. Lucky egg is pretty clever. Just going through the motions. Yeah, just clicking. <laughs> just waiting for the opponent to 
do a thing. Yeah. So what tournaments were you going to go to still? Like big tournaments? Uh, so I was going to go to Toronto. Um, with EUIC cancelled, I was thinking of Charlotte. Because like now with no IC points for a stipend, um, having regional finishes matter only, that would have been pretty big. Mm -hmm. um, and then I already had everything booked for Berlin since I had the, the travel award. Uh, well, not everything. I had the flight, you know, which I'm hoping I'll be able to <coughs> to recoup the money for that. Um, but yeah, those those three events and Albany. I was planning on going to Albany as well, and mm -hmm. now that's that. Yeah, yeah. Albany was going to be the other one that I was going to go to as well. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens with CP and whatnot. Like, I might, if they reduce it, then I, and they have more events and whatnot, then I'll probably end up going to, like, Fort Wayne. Because I have, I think I have, like, 320, 325 right now. Okay. That's a pretty solid amount. Yeah. So if it went to, like, 400, I could probably still do it. If they yeah. kept it at 500, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, with a whole quarter canceled, you'd imagine that they're going to do something. Right. Either cancel the whole yeah, season right. or right, right. <laughs> reduce the, the CP bar to something more manageable for everyone. Um, I can't see them decreasing it for Latin America from 250 to 200, maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, the thing is like a month from now, they could cancel events up until June, right? And then two months from now, up until July, and we could go on like... You literally yep. can't know. Yep. <coughs> I don't want to book. I don't want to book anything for Worlds now. I mean, I booked like a hotel that I can, you know, mm -hmm. cancel at any point. But I don't want to buy any airfare now. Yeah. And it sucks because now it's so cheap, right? Because of this. But then. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could buy something that's guaranteed to be refundable. Yeah. We have to data change here, right? There's no way around it. Yeah. Switch, switch, nice. Yeah, as long as we don't get KO'd, should be okay. Yeah. Do we just research as well? I don't mind losing the the rainbow too much. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. Nice. Nice, yeah. Good. Right. Maybe, yeah, now a benching decision. Not a big deal. I still need a switch regardless next turn. Okay. So worst case scenario is the energy stack will triple electro power KO. And hello to Darkness. What is with the Alola Ninetales in the ADPC? So you have Alola Ninetales to get like guaranteed double custom, guaranteed um, energy switch at some point, guaranteed metal saucers to recover. So that's the reason why it's it's not random. Like Jirachi, obviously, it requires more setup, um, but it's not random. So that's the advantage. And it recently got top eight at a tournament in Australia at the regional that Henry Brand won with that weird looking Mewtwo deck. So that's why we are featuring that today. Yeah. This will be the last game that we feature it though, don't worry. Like Nightdale definitely hasn't proved its worth, I would say, so far. But four games is not a big sample size, right? Not a big enough sample size. It is interesting and it is spicy, but like it's not even easy to find Vulpix turn one because your yeah. quick balls you're <laughs> dedicating them to find either ADP or Seishen. So, <clears throat> like on paper it seems good, but then in practice drawing the pieces is not exactly easy. Okay, I feel like we're safe here from the KO. So then, 
we haven't seen big charm but i feel like our prices could just be the 10a plus or aura easily especially with nine tails being able to fetch us double custom or great catcher say that again so our six prizes could just be the DNA plus oh, Aurora and the Aurora. The DNA? Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I that's think so. Fair. So the DNA this turn. We are losing a bunch of energies here though. And we've lost metal patches too. Um okay. So a bunch of quick balls. I think I'm gonna grab a station. Yeah, and then keep these two for Tetene later on. And then we have the nine tails, right? So if our hand stays intact, which I don't expect it to, should be able to win. We have great catcher. Our two other custom catchers are prized. <laughs> Maybe we'll just draw. <laughs> so we'll just draw them. Um, Oh, and two metal. So our prices. Oh no, we're down three customs. So we priced one custom, but we are we did price two metal patches. So if our opponent went and KO'd our station, like if they do attack bolt, they win, basically. Which is not easy, of course, but not impossible either. There's the custom. There's a rainbow. There's a water. So out of our three prices, two of them are metal saucers. Okay, so you'd expect a reset step, right? At the very least. But even then, like, he has to attack with with Chu Chu. Yeah, which I guess is fine. The custom catcher is an out as well, out of the reset stamp. We have the day name. Yeah, there it is. There it is. So we have two nine tails, one cherish ball and then we have our research as yes, we have our marnies and three cards is a decent amount right it's not like we're getting stabbed to one and then night watched so i like our odds and the cool part is we don't have to win next turn well maybe we do because of the threat of tackle but we could not win and still be fine and there we go, we hit the denim. Yeah, I'm fairly confident we'll hit it. Sky blue coop, oh yeah, you bricked very hard. <laughs> you bricked very hard. If you had been able to get the turn to KO on the ADP, then I feel like you would have been in an okay spot. Um, not the best, right? Because Station is still to be KO'd, but if you had managed to KO ADP on turn 2, then you might have had a real chance at that game. Okay, so the Vulpix has free retreat, but I'm not even gonna play... <laughs> like, I'm not even gonna risk it, that I evolve, I get, I get like, very eager that yeah. I got it and I evolve, and then all of a sudden, I forget to grab the switch order. And I can just top yeah. deck the... <laughs> the nine deals, wow. Can you can you sit by me at tournaments, Mikey? I feel like you give me good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now we could KO either Pikaram or Zerora. Just in case I'm bad at maths, let's go for the Zerora. 240 exactly. GG. Alright. <laughs> so Nightbills was pretty good there, but good enough over Jirachi. I'm not convinced yeah. at all. Yeah, Drachi could have been like just as good there. Yeah. Alright, Mikey, so unfortunately that's all the time that I have for today. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I, I won't be able to stream tomorrow, but on Thursday we might be able to meet up to play more games. Yeah, and if you have any decks in particular that you think are you'd like to showcase or talk through then Feel free to let me know. Yeah, I'll get them built. Cool. Sounds All right. Good, man. Well, thanks so much for joining us, Mike. Thanks so much to everyone yeah. who watched. 
and I will see you either in the next YouTube video or in the next live stream on Thursday. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Bye.